going to go through the demo and I'm going to show you Miss Jane Doe's return. I've also got John's. They are not related. So um, I learned on the software the easy way. You guys use the Q&A to prepare tax returns at all? OK, so when you, any new software, the first time you approach it, it's it's scary. It's, you don't know what you're doing. The, the interface and the way that this has such a human brain approach, um, you have the ability to, to see all of the, you know, the, the tabs at the top. Oh, are we cut off a little bit? That's all right. Um, the, you know, where you've got file prepare and tools. So when you're on your client menu here, all of these options up here are, are different than when you do open the tax return. You still have the same ability to do things like import and add a return. But when you're on the client manager, like I am now, and you open up a tax return, which, thank you. All right, so now you see we've got some different options up here, right? Now we've got some tools. Um, I, I'm, I'm old school, I have a calculator that I just pull out of my drawer. But should you want to use the calculator here, you've got a savings calculator. You know, any of your clients own, uh, I'm sure a lot of them do. You guys have stocks, right? You guys have to deal with, with inputting all of that. The, great feature about uh, with tax act is is that when you're on that particular page like for example if we go to continue here you've not only got the ability to enter the information at the top there but below is the is the actual worksheet and so if you keep going through you'll actually see irs forms down there so you can see where that information is is getting put in and i believe that jacob mentioned to you guys one of the new features so you see how social security uh is in a pinkish hue there so it's not going to with that bright red is not going to freak you out but that pinkish hue just it alerts me that i've not put a social security number in for this client and that is another feature that i love the most that we keep it's impossible to do it wrong you keep getting these alerts that are going to tell you you forgot the child's date of birth um you know you missed a digit in the social security number so that it continues to keep telling you and warning you that you need to uh, correct this information it's impossible to file a a bad return, you know, an incorrect return. So we're just, I'm not gonna answer any of the information. We've got Jane Doe, she's single. And I, um, after the address, when we talk about dependents. So uh, all of you guys had a really tough year. We all did last year, right? Because we had the stimulus come in, then halfway through tax season, all of a sudden we got the uh, 10,200 of unemployment non-tax. So, all those clients' returns that I had filed needed to be what normally you would think, oh my God, I have to amend them. No, Tax Act really rushed to get all of that in there. The stimulus payments, um, the child tax credit, and for this coming year, I've already sent out an email to all my clients warning them, don't spend that money yet because that child tax credit, you, it's based on what your income was last year. And we, we all know that people did not have a good year last year, right? So people are getting that. That child tax credit, they better know that they might have to return that or it's coming out of their refund, right? So um, that was my point in regards to the dependents. Now, when you go through, it's always this simple information. I tend to use a my own tax organizer that I send. It's a PDF form that I send to my clients to fill out and give me all of their personal information. And then that's where I put it in here. If it's a quick return, I may sit in front of them or they may sit in front of me and I'll go through it and get the information from them there. But after COVID, no one's really doing this face-to-face. -face. And, and why would we do this face-to-face? -face? We can do our work without having to actually see our clients. E-filing e and e-signing, genius. So um, Jane Doe is single and here we go with our first mini alert. So if we look at him now, it's gonna tell me that I'm missing all of this information, her social security number, the address, the date of birth. So it again, it warns you and then also brings up this full time student would have come up after the alerts as well. So it'll let you know but like let's say for example I put a child in there and it, it'll bring up the child tax credit forms. So you already know that it's going to tell you what forms you need to file for that particular client. Um, Jacob showed me some amazing things that are in the works that I'm very, very excited about. I'm sure he mentioned it to everybody, but the reason he knows and is implementing these changes in the software is because he asks, he asks our customers questions. What, 
what is it that you would like to see? Me, for one, I would love to have the ability to put a note in. For example, if, if, if I have a client who has a child, but she's divorced, so she keeps the child part-time, where can I put that in here so that I remember that it's, it's part-time and that when her ex-husband comes to do his tax returns, I need to remind him, hey, we need to add that, your child for the half year. So notes like that really is something that I would love to see implemented, which they're definitely working on. So again, we go through the Q&A, we entered all of the personal information. Now this gets to our, us as a preparer. What do you want to add to the tax return? Do you wanna do the invoice now? Do you need to uh, use a client organizer, uh, set an appointment, uh, get a professional report? And then we've got the bank products and the client reports there. The uh, billing invoice, I, I use an, something else to do the invoicing because I like to have my brand on there. But again, told Jacob that and they're working on it. So at some point you're gonna be able to see more branding within the software. So we go through now federal Q&A. This is just where I love it. It's just the easiest way to, to, to put a tax return in, for, to file a tax return. In blue, it's gonna tell you the most important things. It's not, doesn't mean that it's skipping on any of the basic information, the wages and salaries or investment income, but you should be aware that if, you know, your client needs to make sure that they let you know if they've got, you know, a, a, a 1099G or 1099R, you know, you need to get all those forms from them so that you know where to enter all of these. But it, it basically lists every single category that we need to file a tax return. So right here, if I wanted to go, for example, the recovery rebate credit. So there was a third stimulus in 2021, we all know that, right? It, it, the major ones were in 2020. Um, I'm sorry, we're going back. Yes, 2020. So 2021 was another one. It, this, this COVID just, it's time just flew. So um, you wanna make sure that you enter that information and find out from them. I've already warned, my, so, so many of my clients are going, I have to go double check my bank statement. You got to get that information from them and so that you can enter it uh, in the tax return directly. So I've already warned all of them, but come tax season, you know, you're going to have to call for all that information again. So again, back to the Q&A topic. So this is where I would enter 1099 miscellaneous, W-2, uh, their state income tax refund, mm -hmm. any social security benefits, bank account information, which is one that's very, very scary because the software is not going to tell you if you entered the account number wrong. And in my 15 years of preparing tax returns one time and for a client who was desperate for her return, I inverted numbers in her bank account and she had to wait for a paper check. Needless to say, she did not use me the following year. So um, then we just bring up, we've completed it. This is what your picture looks like. Now, if we had added any income, if we'd added any um, uh, deductions, we would, it would all be listed here. And again, you can go down, now if I go back, you can go down on one of these forms. For example, let's go child tax credit, right? So down here, oh, oh that's too fast, there we go. All right, so down here, we've got the basic information worksheet, right? So it's, it's, the program's gonna ask you where to enter, you know, to enter all of that information. But if you actually want to thoroughly look at the sheet, sometimes I like to just put, pull up the sheet in an image view and because it's new, I have not, I just got this, the new 2020, it's very exciting. So it's not up there, but sometimes I will just pull the image view to actually look at that form. We're still, we're still binary. We're, we're all tax preparers. We use the left side of our brain. There's no art involved in what we do. Sometimes you just wanna see that form. So um, another feature that I, I'm always using is the, uh, is the IRS form instructions. Sometimes I forget what, what the calculation is for depreciation, what I need to do on, on any one particular form. So when you go to the IRS form instructions, it pulls up every single form. So I don't have to go open a new browser, go to the IRS website, find the instructions, especially with new forms. And they do this to us every year, right? We get new forms all the time. You, you can't expect to know every line and how to fill that out. So I do go to, I refer to IRS instruction sheets all the time, but it's right there. So I keep it all in one place. I'm not constantly minimizing the, the software, opening up a Google search and all that. 
So that's one of my one of my favorite features. There's also two the tools that are really important that I, I showed you at the top, but the topic assistant, this is a way of you um, viewing specific topics, right? So it's a list of everything that you could want to search for in regards to a tax return. You can find it all there. So it's not just the IRS forms or instruction sheets. So as we go on, they're going to, it, it, the tax software is going to give you um, all the steps that you need to take and complete. The, uh, the little I button right there, that will pull up some more information for you without you having to go to like the tools or the IRS forms in, in terms of like, for example, whether you'd be disqualified for the child tax credit, right? So we do not qualify because we do not have a child. But I mean, uh, I had a, somebody come to me who was claiming their cat once. I, has anybody had that? Yeah, yeah. I mean, why? I have a dog. I wish I. She has better health insurance than I do, so I would love to be able to write. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So anyway, so now um, uh, reviewing the return, printing the return. We all know that. So if you want to review, you can go back to the the Q and A forms. If you want to print the return, then you're actually going to get a copy of the printed return. Now, here's one. I. Generally, when I submit for my clients to review if they want to look at their tax return, I I do the uh, the client federal right because it comes with that watermark. So they, I mean, they could sit there and just fill out everything on the paper return and send it in, and and what are you going to do about it? But um, I generally will still prior to this year, 2021 tax act software, I did not have the enterprise where it stores all of your information on the cloud. And so it you know, freaks you out, your computer crashes. I still have backups, but I would save my tax returns on my hard drive. With the enterprise, it's secure for me. Everything's up there in the cloud. If I lose my computer, if, if I lose everything, I can still get all of my clients' tax returns because it's stored in the cloud. So it helps, and now I feel better not actually not saving them on my computer because it's a lot of personal information that you're responsible for, right? So um, right there, you could go to uh, printing your tax return. Now we're just gonna go continue. Now, I, um, are you all California preparers? Mostly, yes, okay. We, I mean, I'm sure that you guys also do different states, right? All right, so the state returns are great because you don't have to add, some software, they will inundate the program with every single state when you don't need it. I, well, the states that have income tax, but when you don't need it and it's then you got to go through the whole list and whatnot you get to individually import which states that you want okay so that that is a big big feature for me that i like um so checking for updates it's always going to do that and ask you to save your return i'm not going to do the update now i'll install it later and mind you it will it will do that every time before when you open the software and you guys need to make sure to do that because Tax Act is on top of implementing and adding all of the different changes. And they were when we had those stimulus and we had the unemployment, uh, you know, the discount on the tax for unemployment. So you wanna make sure that you constantly update, um, even if it doesn't ask you, but it will ask you when you open it up. So now the alerts. Now this is where you get that bold red because that's really important. Um, a lot of the, the warnings are stuff that you know that you need to override. It doesn't apply. It's just warning you, it's a good little additional step for security, but uh, I usually will always run the entire review. Now we're gonna go through obviously with all the things that are wrong. So when you go through and skip the alerts, if I'm comparing with somebody else's, it's something that it's very hard to explain to people and some people don't really care. They just pay you, you do the taxes, get me the best refund or make sure I don't owe too much. But it's important to, to try to teach your clients about what it is. I, I, for one, believe that in high school, we should be teaching kids, what is income tax? You realize you're going to go out there into the working world. Not all that money is yours. You have to pay taxes, right? And what does it go towards? It helps people, people, you know, develop an appreciation for, for social services or things that, that uh, the government, you know, pays for our roads, city taxes, local taxes, schools, and all that stuff. You know, so we, 
we're still on a very, very low end of, of income tax in terms of other developed countries, but we also don't have good health care. So it's a balance. So I always like to give, if, I, if it's a previous client, I always give them that comparison because some people don't realize, wait, 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 I made less money this year. Why am I paying more taxes? There's, you've got, you've got that bracket. Sometimes it, you boss offers you a raise. How much is that gonna cost you in additional taxes? Those things need to be considered. So it's nice for them to see, this is the progression of my you know, history of paying taxes. And I have clients that I've been doing taxes for for 10 years straight. And they get to see how, wow, you know, I can't believe it. 10 years ago, I was making 20 Gs a year and look at me now. So um, it's really nice to be able to compare them. So the e-filing, we all use e-filing, right? So I'm not gonna be able to do this all the way through because obviously it's not a real tax return. But if we go into further next year, so this helps you help your client to prepare for the following year, right? So you also too can use this opportunity when you're reviewing a tax return with them to, to mention the additional you know, products and other ways that you can grow your business and enhance your business by using things like Advan Tax and Republic Bank, those kinds of services that you can offer to your clients. It, it, it gives you, you're more than just now a tax preparer. We're not financial advisors, but you know your clients intimately you know that they have a child, you know that you should suggest that they get a college savings plan, 529, right? So you wanna be able to outsource that or get some kind of return for it, a, re a referral for it. And that's what um, Advantax does. So it, it's really a great idea if you want to, it's minimal effort and you, it's just a nice, easy supplemental income to your tax preparation firm. So as we continue the 2021 W-4 withholding, Tax Watch 2022. So this will be released because this is just the new, it's brand new. Have, have any of you guys installed 2021 yet? You have, no one else? Oh, go home and do it now. So, all right, um, uh, product suggestions we go through and then we're, we're gonna exit. So now I'm not gonna go any further because we can't file the tax return. But again, most of my favorite features from the software, especially in 2021, where you've got the warning before you get to the alerts, because sometimes it gets annoying when you get all of those alerts, but you get that warning, the light pink box that you forgot to enter some information here. Um, and then looking forward to, to next year with every suggestion that has been made this year is gonna be happening next year. Every suggestion that was made last year is happening this year. So uh, the company really, really treasures the response and the information that it gets from its customers. So I encourage you guys, drop emails. You got everybody's information here. Um, Jacob would talk to you for hours and hours. So make sure you just get in touch with them because they, they, they call to ask. They want to know this information. And it's really, really important that we make sure we share what, what we like about it, what we don't like about it, what works for us, what doesn't. 